Hey gang, this is Leela here at the Comic Connection in Hamilton with this week's comic book reviews. First up, we've got Venom Dark Origin number one of five. In this issue, we get a quick glance into the early years of Eddie Brock, and we see him from a sort of a scheming child all the way up to a maniacal adult. I thought it was really interesting in all the ways that Eddie claims to be more than he is, um, but because he can't stand being himself. At least that's the way he's portrayed in this book, which is really awesome. I just love the story, and the art went along really well with it. Uh, if you're a fan of this character, I have a feeling that you may really enjoy this one, so pick it up. Next up, we've got Oko, Cycle of Earth, number one of four. This is sort of a follow-up to the Cycle of Water series. And in this one, Oko and his band seek refuge in the mountains, but they're attacked by a group of bandits donning the symbol of the raven. So before long, they're trying to get onto their trail and figure out who they are. Uh, I really love the mystery of this story and uh, the way it sort of answered certain questions, but then it only led to more questions. Um, so I really like the story for the or the book for the story. Um, the art is only okay for me because the ink sort of really takes away from it. Um, so I'm hoping that improves uh, later on in the book. But pick it up for the great story. Next up, we've got Final Crisis number three of seven. Uh, in this issue, we learn the fate of Wally and Barry. Clark uh, is offered a chance to save Lois, and Wonder Woman stumbles into a really bad situation as Darkseid's plans are finally sent into motion. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this series, but it's all taking a long time to get there, so I'm not so impressed so far. Um, but overall, it's pretty good, and I'm looking forward to that big wow moment in the series that I hope will be coming next issue. But this was a pretty good read. Pick it up. And last but not least, we've got Wolverine Killing Made Simple. This is a one-shot book uh, with two stories in it. Uh, in the first one, Wolverine helps Trance, uh, a new character, for me anyways, uh, find her inner X-Man and takes a real beating in the process. If you ever wondered what it would take to kill Wolverine, they try a lot of different ways in this book. And just for that, it's pretty awesome. And in the second story, Disturbing Consequences, Wolverine is sent on a covert mission um, to control an escaped virus in a way that he can only be the one to stop. It was really amazing. I loved it. Pick up this book if you can find it. Hey folks, Jim here with this week's comic book reviews. This week, a book from last week, Yen Plus Number One. It took me about a week to finish it, so let's get to it. Uh, this issue features 11 manga stories, including Maximum Ride, Soul Eater, Pig Bride, Bamboo Blade, One Fine Day, Night School, Jack Frost, and more. Um, simply a great bunch of stories. Uh, some of my faves are Maximum Ride, Soul Eater, and One Fine Day. Um, and Night School by Svetlana Shomokova, uh, very good stuff. Um, if you're a manga fan, pick this up, it's only 10 bucks. Next up, Ninja High School number 162. In a magical flash, all of Quagmire is enveloped into a fantasy realm and Ricky makes it his mission to save Sora. Uh, another really good issue, by Ben Dunn and Robbie Bavard. If you're not reading Ninja High School, pick it up. And also, there's a backup written and drawn by Ben, so it's classic NHS. Next up, Buffy, number 17. In this issue, in the far-flung future, Buffy and Malaka worked things out and searched for the reason Buffy was transported to the future in the first place. Well, in the past, Xander has problems of his own to deal with. Another really good issue by Joss Whedon. If you're not a Buffy fan, pick this up. It's fantastic. And last, and certainly least, Transformers Saga of the Allspark, number two. Uh, this issue features two stories focusing on Ratchet and Devastator. Uh, the art is by Andrew Wildman is absolutely horrible. I'm just not a fan of this book. The writing is fantastic by Simon Furman, but any Transformers fan that sees this art is probably going to laugh. 